Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, let's make a super easy placemat. It's going to look like a watermelon. I can't wait for you to see this. All right, so I started with a, it's, this is just a little placemat from Dollar Tree. Um, and it's a red one. And I have some acrylic paint. This is Americana and I think the color is holly green. Now I'm just going, I thought I was being slick and I'm like, oh, I'll just do two rows. So all I'm doing here is going two rows in and just applying some of this green paint. Now I started doing like a dabbing motion and I'll be honest, this makeup brush that I'm using isn't really, it's not really firm. So it's a little bit more challenging than I had initially thought. So going around, but it's not bad. I mean, it'll work. It'll work. If this is all you have, that's fine. Um, but then I decided to change brushes because I had another makeup brush that was a little firmer and I thought I could get the job done a little bit um, better. This is what it looks like on the back when you're painting it. It's fine. Um, so here's that paintbrush. Listen, are you like me where it's like you spend more time trying to figure out a better way to do it than just getting it done? That's what I do. I'm like, you know, you would have been done by now if you just kept painting. But no, that's not what I do. <laughs> so anyway, so all I'm doing is dabbing all the way around, um, making sure that I get because it's it's like a woven fabric. It's not even fabric. It's like plastic. So go all the way around. And I did notice that it's not it's like a spiral. So just, you know, it's not going to be two rows entirely. Then I took some black paint and this is multi-surface paint. And I see how I'm using this brush and I'm trying to figure out is this the brush I want to use so I'm practicing then I try another makeup brush I practice with that because we're gonna make seeds I'm like ah, not that one either but then I tried this little one again from Dollar Tree it is a makeup brush and it worked like a charm so all I'm saying is sometimes you have to practice with your brushes just to get the right kind of feel for what you're trying to do we're trying to do seeds so all I do is press and pull out see Easy peasy. It makes like a little um, teardrop almost. It, not even a teardrop. It makes a watermelon seed. You'll see. Look at Look how cute. It's perfect. And here's the other thing, friends. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like get out of your own way. Get out of the idea that it has to be perfect because it doesn't. Because there is zero, zero perfection in this world. And even if the real watermelon doesn't have perfect seeds. I'm just... <laughs> just saying and if you see those marks um see how it looks like I have marks on the top of that um placemat I don't it's just the um wax paper underneath showing through from when I painted earlier but see I'm just going all the way around and you can put as many or as few as you want I'm kind of trying to scatter them so that there aren't too many in one spot and too many in another or not enough in another but see just go all the way around and you'll see not all of them look the same and they shouldn't right it's okay the minute you start to overthink it is when things kind of go downhill right the minute you hesitate you're done <laughs> but you're not done but you know what I mean where it's that's when your brush strokes get funky and squiggly and all of the things but look at how cute this is Oh, and I just let it dry really well. Just let it dry. And the next day it's flexible. It's fine. You could totally put a charger plate on it or you could put your paper plates when you're at your picnic table, whatever you want to use it for. How cute. Anyway, friends, thanks so much for watching. And I hope this inspires you.